Did you know one little ladybug can lay as many as 1,000 tiny gold-colored eggs in a single season? Ladybugs often lay their eggs on leaves covered with aphids, so the new hatchlings have a ready supply of food when they hatch. Hi, and welcome to Ladybug 5 Example Problems. In Ladybug 5, we're going to introduce our fifth and final 10 pair, the 6 and 4. So let's jump into this problem and see how we use the 10 pair 6-4. We're going to start by adding 3 to the abacus. Next, we're going to add 6. Then we want to add 6 to 9, but we have no beads available in order to add 6. So this is where we use our 10 pair addition rule, which says add one to the next rod left and then subtract six's 10 pair, which is four. So I subtract four. Let's take a look at that movement one more time. To add six to nine, I don't have enough beads. So therefore I use my 10 pair addition rule, add one, to the next rod left and subtract six is 10 pair four. Finally, I'll add three for a final answer of 18. Let's take a look at a second example. We'll start with nine on the abacus, subtract five, and then I wanna add six to four. Well, I only have five beads available, which is not enough. So we use our 10 pair addition rule Add one to the next rod left and subtract six is 10 pair, which is four. Finally, add one for a final answer of 11. So there you have it. Good luck with your training. Hi, and welcome to the Ladybug 5 finger movement practice. In Ladybug 5, we are working with adding six to the target rod when there are not enough beads available. So let's look at this situation when I have four on the abacus and I wanna add six. I only have the five bead available, so I'm going to use my 10 pair addition rule movement where I add one to the next rod left with my thumb and subtract six is 10 pair four from four. So again, it's that same thumb and index finger movement.